Arizona. Arizona. Let's get started with season two. Woo! New adventures, totally different terrain. We are not in the mountains anymore. We're in like desert hills and desert mountains. Is that a thing? We we're don't totally, even know. we're totally not in the Pacific Northwest anymore. A nope. different climate, a different set of terrain. It's very rocky here, and this is going to be an adventure. We're about two hours from the Grand Canyon, so we can't wait to see that this season. There's tons of national parks around us up in southern Utah. There's like Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon. We're hoping to hit all of them. Where we're located was kind of where Nevada. Nevada, California, and Arizona meet. So we're on the western side of Arizona. We're real excited because there's some different national parks in California we want to hit. And yes. I mean, just look at this terrain. So as we told you guys, we are here in Arizona. Oh my gosh, it has been such a different landscape, such a different experience from Montana so far, but we are excited. So we thought we would show you around where we're parked a little bit. We did park in a different town for our first week and it just wasn't gonna work out. Well guys, we're moving. <laughs> we um, had originally gotten in here and gotten an RV park Probably about a month ago we got a reservation and the city that we thought we would be spending the most time in and uh, the best price and what looked the best and it's been the RV park here has been fine we've had full hookups a pool to use and everything um, what we were finding is that I'll probably be doing most of my home health in a different town beside us and then also what we found out quickly is that it is freaking hot here <laughs> Right now it is reading probably about 110 um, and that's been normal for us. We've been in the 100s and it's even gotten up to like 115. And so what we found is that the town next to us is about 40 minutes, 45 minutes away, but it's also 3,000 feet higher in elevation. And so it's usually about 10 degrees cooler there. And right now our poor Big Betty, our RV air conditioner has been pumping. And it's even gotten so hot at sometimes that we're f the breaker's flipping because the AC's trying to work so hard. Um, and so we decided, well, we need to look for RV parks in a cooler area of the desert where, like, it might be just, like, 90 degrees to 100 degrees there, um, which is kind of crazy to think about. And so we got that kind of finalized today, and now it's like a mad dash after work to move the RV. So that's what we're doing. Alright, we got the tow dolly all hooked up to the Subaru and the Corolla on that. Megan will be driving that. And now Big Betty is ready to rock and roll. We are in drive mode and so we will drive across the desert to this other town. It's a KOA over there, um, so it'll have more of a campground feel. And uh, they have a pool also, which is pretty key when you're out in the middle of the desert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We made it. We are all set up in our new spots, and I feel a whole lot better about this place. So yeah. it feels a little bit safer because um, right now Megan's going to be working at home on some of her other little projects and business uh, while we're trying to find her a contract or maybe some PRN in the area. We are closer to a little bit bigger hospital, which might be a good job. fit for a job for Megan. Um, I like the campground feel, so this is going to be great to be here for a few months. And we're really just paying 50 more dollars a month, mm -hmm. and actually our electric is cheaper per kilowatt is how they, they meter it. Mm -hmm. um, definitely worth it. I mean, it's a 10 degree, 15 and the degree difference. Oof, yeah. Yeah, we can already tell the difference, and so it'll be good for us. It'll be good for our old AC unit, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm happy that we are established here. And now we can kind of do a video and show you around our new home for the next six months. 
the first chance we got, we moved up here to a KOA up in higher elevation and it has been amazing. We love it. It feels a little bit more like a resort. We have some barriers in between um, the parking spots. It's been nice, so I'm gonna show you around. What's nice is that since moving here, it started to cool down. So it's definitely taken much longer to cool down than we're used to back at home. It is October when we're filming this and um, today it only got up into the mid 80s and so we're really enjoying the weather starting to cool down and get a little bit of fall weather that is like my favorite time of year so we're loving that that is coming into season and it's keeping us from using our AC all the time. What's also nice is that because we're in a campground there's fun stuff to do so they have mini golf and a pool with a hot tub. So we were definitely going to be taking advantage of that. There's also this fun rec room where Ryan and I can battle it out on a game of ping pong. Another fun part about living in a campground is that you get to check out which kinds of rigs are coming in and there are a wide variety, that's for sure. We really enjoy checking out the rigs and thinking plans up for the future. So tonight we're doing some pork steaks on the propane grill, one of our favorite meals to do in the evening out by the RV when we have nice weather. And for these pork steaks, what we're gonna do tonight is Carol bask in it and some sweet baby rays. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna put on some Sweet Baby Ray's, one of our favorite barbecue sauces, straight on the pork steaks uh, towards the end of their cooking. A couple things that we're already noticing is different about Arizona is that any time we see grass, we freak out. We're like, oh, look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> We've never been in a desert terrain before, so it's definitely very different. You can't walk outside without tracking in dust. Our RV is super dusty, so we gotta vacuum like every day. Vacuum, mop, sweep, swiffer, <laughs> everything. The terrain is also very different. There's still like mountains, but they're made of dirt. <laughs> 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 and um, they're like not covered in trees and stuff that we're used to seeing. So they're beautiful at dawn and at dusk when the sun is Great sunsets. yeah when the sun's in between setting or rising the colors are just amazing and the shadows are really cool so the secret is out yeah we are in arizona for season two we're so excited that you all could join us um, for season one and now season two and i can say we are excited to get started yes thank you for being here on this season two premiere to kick it all off and get it started. Yes. I think that's what you just said. I know, but we need like the music like, get the party started on a Sunday night. <laughs> so we have plans to visit as many national parks as we can possibly visit while here in Arizona mm -hmm. because Southern Utah has a lot, California has a lot. Some of the ones that were um, hoping to get to is like Zion National Park, the Grand Canyon, uh, Antelope Canyon, go over to Flagstaff, Sedona. Mm -hmm. Maybe even Joshua Tree and Yosemite. Yes. We'd love to hear from you, so give us some feedback down in the YouTube comments below about your favorite places in the Southwest that you've been to, because mm -hmm. uh, we might go check it out. To celebrate season two, we're gonna be giving away 50 new Joint Movement Traveler stickers mm -hmm. to the first 50 people who comment on any of our videos that we publish in the time frame of October 25th to November 29th. That's right. So all you have to do is comment hashtag joint movement traveler and fill out the survey on the link that's in our description so that we know where to send the sticker and you will have one right at your door. Yep. We'll mail it right to you. 
yeah so we're excited to do this we wanted a way to get you guys involved and a way for us to see your adventures so we would love if you continued using that hashtag showing us where you're traveling to or showing us where our sticker is traveling to as well yeah we really kind of want to create a clan a group and so we're inviting you to join yes Thank you guys for joining in on this first episode of season two. We're really excited. We hope you're excited too. We hope that we get to meet some of you guys on the road. We've made a lot of friends over YouTube and Instagram so far. So we hope to meet you out there on the road. If not, we will see you next Sunday. And thanks for joining us. Until next time. See ya. See ya.